you might be thinking, I like Nebula. I really like Nebula. I really want to summon Nebula. I want to add Nebula to my team. So I think I'm going to spend a little bit of emeralds on this event, right? And, you know, that's okay, right? You know, play the game however you want to play the game. But you need to know that by spending resources on this event, and this is why I, ha this is why I continually do videos about events that we've had dozens of times. And, you know, I say things like, you know, is it is it worth spending on? Is it not worth spending on? Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Over on the Hero Wars community page. If you're not a member of the Hero Wars community page and you're a Facebook and a web player, I would I would definitely recommend you jumping into it. We were asked to identify ourselves, you know, say hello to everybody. And you guys know Coco, Hero Wars Secrets, great YouTuber, very, uh, very analytic, kind of a, kind of a, you know, a, admittedly a pay to win player. He made this post introducing himself. And I don't really have anything wrong with what he said here. Uh, Hi, I've been playing this game for two and a half years. I'm in one of the biggest pay to win guilds. To achieve our high status, all 30 of us have had to pay a lot. And because we've paid a lot, we've learned a lot of secrets about this. And then he makes this statement, therefore I know things. Let's see, let's see. You can find out many things for free, but you have to wait or speed the process up by paying, therefore I know things, which some would not even find out in 25 years from now if they play for free. Now, I, I, I don't have any problem with this because I know the time value relative to the cost of emeralds and different things you can purchase in this game. And we're not just talking about Facebook and web or mobile. This is for everything. This is across the board. So what is Coco talking about? And in the comments of this, of this, uh, of this post that he shared, some people kind of went in on him, you know, about him bragging about how he's spent so much money and you know, all that. And that's not what I'm here for. I, I want to focus on this statement that he's made about the some would not not even find out in 25 years from now. Well, that that is I believe that is a direct reference to the Titan totems, a Titan totem fragments. OK, so what what is he talking about? 25 years like what? Let me show you guys an example of what you know, what Coco is referring to here and you know, why he he has a point about this, but it's not exactly what you think. You don't need 25 years to learn how to play this game, but taking his 25 year example specifically, and again, mobile players, this will apply to you in a broader sense. So every day, every day there are daily tasks, right? The daily tasks that you have to do that you can earn different resources. And in the case of Hero Wars Facebook and web, you fight in the tournament of the elements to earn a little bit of the uh, Titan artifact spheres or the big money blue balls. And there's a similar, there's a similar quest over on mobile. Uh, uh, battle the Hydra one time. And this I believe goes up to three. Like you battle the Hydra three times and you get, uh, you get more. Although I don't know off the top of my head. So the idea, the idea is that you get a set number of these Titan artifact spheres every single day. Uh, every single day, if you just play the game, let's call it 10. I'm not trying to do any math tonight. It's Thursday. It's late. I'm not trying to do any math. But if you earn 10 spheres a day, if you earn 10 of a thing per day, so that's 3,650, just easy, easy math, 10 per day times 365 days in a, in a, in a year, then you earn 3,650 of these big money blue balls or the Titan Artifact spheres. And... It will take you 25 years, arbitrarily, it will take you 25 years of just doing the basic day-to-day -day tasks to get all of the totem fragments, all 18 of the totem fragments, right? Each, each totem has six fragments to it, one star all the way up to six stars. If you played the game without spending any money on big money blue balls, on Titan artifacts, you will eventually get there, but it will take you 25 years. And I'm not sure if that's specifically what Coco is referring to in, uh, in, in this statement right here. I'm thinking that's what he's referring to. It could be a pet thing. It could be an ascension thing. It could be a, uh, I don't know, a hero artifact thing. It could be... It could be any number of things that could pertain to either or of the game, right? So what he's talking about here is is saving time. So let's let's say, you know, again, again, 10 per day, 
times 365, that's 3,650 per year, 3,650 per year. If I bought four of those, four of those 100 pieces right there, right? That would be, that would be 4,000, that would be 4,000 Titan Spheres, right? 4,000 Titan Spheres. And it would cost me 18,000 emeralds, right? 18,000 emeralds would give me one year of effort. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? I could play the game free to play every single day of a year and earn 3,700 of these items. Or I could buy them for, you know, 15 to 18,000 emeralds. Therefore, you're making up a year. You're buying a year of play in this game by spending 18,000 emeralds, okay? And everything in this game, with very small exceptions, everything in this game... Oh, I, I did that math wrong. I did that math wrong. It's not 18,000, it's, it's 180,000. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See, math. Thank you, thank you, John. Thank you, John. Not 400, I need 4,000. So I would need to buy... I would need to buy 40 of those. Not four. 40, all right? So 180,000 emeralds. Thank you, thank you. 180,000 emeralds will give you a year of play. I, John, I knew that sounded. I, I knew that sounded very small. Eighteen thousand emeralds. That I, I knew that sounded really small. Yeah. So, despite my math being horrible, which, by the way, my math is going to be horrible no matter what day of the week it is. There are all of these things, like for example, the airship and the artifact chests. Right. You get what three or four keys per day. I warned you, no math, <laughs> Willard. You get three or four keys per day or whatever it is, right? And then, you know, times times a year's worth of keys, you can play every day, doing your expeditions every day, leveling up an artifact every single day, and then converting uh, converting all of that time value into, you know, uh, leveling up your hero's artifacts, right? Or you can buy the whatever amount of keys that is by opening these chests, okay? You can spend you know, 20,000 emeralds or 200,000 emeralds, whatever it is, 1,200 per year, says Canadian Doghouse. Okay, whatever. That's, I, thank you. I, I, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so in order to get 1,200 artifact chess keys, you can just, I mean, you could just spend that in emeralds, right? You're buying a year's worth of artifacts chess keys. You're buying a year's worth. And I'm using I'm using Facebook here as an example, but the same thing applies to mobile as well, right? So then we have this idea of of the pay to win versus the pay to play versus the free to play all all of these contrasting you know strategies and 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 all of that and the title the title of this live stream is uh, paying to be time efficient but the thumbnail refers to the um the actual the the time value of events right so take for example the time of the fearless event that's happening tonight time of the fearless event is a free to play event on facebook and web you don't have to spend anything on it. You don't have to, you just basically have to log in and play every day. But the the Nebula event, oh, I need to, I need to restart this. The Nebula event that's on Hero Wars Mobile, you might be thinking, I like Nebula. I really like Nebula. I really want to summon Nebula. I want to add Nebula to my team. So I think I'm going to spend a little bit of emeralds on this event, right? And, you know, that's okay, right? You know, play the game however you want to play the game. But you need to know that by spending resources on this event, and this is why I ha this is why I continually do videos about events that we've had dozens of times. And you know, I say things like, you know, is it is it worth spending on? Is it not worth spending on? Because resources that you spend on getting Nebula, which you can get in a lot of other places in this game, right? You can get Nebula, for example, from the uh, from the Guild War shop. And from, you know, the, the, the two to three times a year that Nebula has, you know, the hero of the month occasionally is Nebula, maybe once every two years or so. Like, the, the, the emeralds that you spend on that event could have been used on uh, Titan Artifact Spheres, on the, um, I don't know, leveling up your, you know, buying more energy, opening outland chests so you can get more, uh, more skin stones. Willard says, "You do you boo. Use what you got if you want it. If Will's didn't spend, the free-to-play guys might not have the game." Yeah, and I'm not I'm not knocking you know the spenders. I'm not saying that, but that that comment did rub a lot of people the wrong way. And I had a couple of people reach out to me. I had a couple of people reach out to me uh, over the last two days, feeling some kind of way about Coco's statement, saying that he knows what he knows. Twenty-five years worth of experience, basically, for being a pay-to-win player. 
right? So that's the thing. That's the thing. You you can spend money and save time. Pay to win game. We knew this. Like this isn't new information. Like we know that this is a pay to win game. Everybody should know that by now. 